we currently have a debt to GDP of, of around 73%. Um, we, we are sitting at a, at a situation where our GDP is around about 6 trillion, 6 trillion rand, but we've borrowed 5, over 5 trillion rand. Uh, hold on right? a so, 6 trillion rand? 6 trillion rand is what, is what the economy is worth. It's worth. Right? And is, we've borrowed. And we've borrowed 5. We've borrowed about 5 trillion. You mean we owe 5 trillion rand? It, exactly. So what's happening right now is that our servicing of that debt is crowding out. Wow. It's, it's servicing of our debt is sitting around over three, 300 million, 300 billion uh, per annum. All right. So, so you, you kind of come in close to 1 billion rand a day, uh, in which we have to wow. spend that. That's, wow. that's only paying the interest. It's only servicing the debt. It's not dealing with the debt itself. And the debt is expected. Tito Mboweni, when he was finance minister, said we could see the outer liars in the outer line years, our debt growing to as much as, uh, going debt to GDP growing to about 80% and then even close to 90%. So this is where we are heading. We are heading towards the, fisc the fiscal cliff. So we've got this debt to GDP challenge. In addition to that, we have a, a dual deficit. We have a deficit on our current account. Uh, the current account essentially looks at your balance of payments, your imports versus your exports. We are actually now importing more than we are exporting. What does it mean? It means that we are creating jobs outside because we what we could manufacture here in South Africa, we are now now having a wonderful point. We are now having to actually. The beneficiation import. is taking place overseas with our raw materials. I, I'm coming to. I'm coming to <laughs> beneficiation. I sit on the trade and industry uh, <laughs> trade committee, and I am the one who pushes beneficia uh, beneficiation uh, like none other. I've asked for the minister um, of trade and industry, Ibrahim Patel. I said we need to have an index. An index because he says, yes, we are doing beneficiation. We've got this little thing going and we've got these batteries that are being manufactured here in South Africa and we've got these catalytic converters. But in the, in the bigger scheme of things, um, we are still exporting the large raw materials in South Africa. The bulk, South Africa is the largest exporter of raw materials on the continent the largest exporter of raw materials. But where is the beneficiation? Yeah. How is it benefiting mm. our large unemployed mm. population? Mm. There, is, there is no effort, mm. concerted effort mm. by government mm. uh, to change things in order to uplift South Africans. So yes, there's the policy of beneficiation, but it's a policy that is not implemented. I was talking about balance of payments. We've got a deficit <laughs> on the balance of payments. We have our deficit on the on the national budget account. All right. That deficit is probably now sitting at about five to six percent also of GDP and growing. In other words, Treasury is not able to raise the revenue that is needed to fund the budget for the last few years. That means that every year they're having to borrow. In addition to the 500 billion that they had to seek uh, during the COVID era, era, by the way, that, that money also was, was not money that was given to South Africa. It was money that needed to be borrowed. Much of it also was stolen in terms of the PPE scandals uh, that we had in the country. But these are the challenges. That's kind of the background uh, that we, that we currently have. Now, what is, what is the solution? What is it?